What's up guys, Jolp here, getting ready to start a brand new series using MLB The Show and the Road to The Show feature. We're going to start with a young man and we are going to follow his path to the major leagues and his career. Now you might be asking yourself, there are hundreds of videos online already of Road to The Show, why would I want to watch Jolp play this? Well why don't you just shut up and watch the rest of my video? So the rules to this Road to the Show video, we are going to play one week out of every single month and we will simulate the rest of the month. So that way we don't blow his stats and we don't get too out of control in controlling his career. So we get one week a month and simulate the rest and then we can play all of the playoff games. So let's get started. Alright, so here we go. We are going to meet our young man who is from the United States. I really don't care where he's from. I guess he's from Missouri as well. Let's see. As we get to know this young man, what position do we want him to play? He's going to be a center fielder. That way we have to make a good all-around player. We will bring back the original Road to the Show player, Graham Nash. All right, so there we go. There is the finished product of Graham Nash. You'll love to see it. Looking solid. Uh, why is he only 5'9"? He's got to be bigger than that. We got Graham Nash here, the young center fielder looking to perform for some scouts to really make a case for himself going into the major leagues. Very highly touted. There's Graham Nash getting warmed up before the scout day. Getting ready to show off what he can do for the scouts here. He's playing for the central team today. Good looking dude, ready to play. Whoo! Little barn burner. He's quick, he's happy about it. Bald spot guy seems satisfied. You'll love to see it. We're gonna see. Take. Oh! Absolutely murders this one. Gone! Alright, I think he's ready to start the evaluation on that one. Oh, smokes that one into right field. Really trying to show off. He's got 10 pitches for the scouts, and he absolutely unloads to right field. That's what the scouts came to see is that Graham Nash power. Woo! And that swing and miss stuff. Oh, Graham Nash unloads on that ball. That one smoked to right field. He goes both directions. Oh, he goes both ways. All right, so Graham Nash, not the best performance, but he definitely did show off some raw power up there. But he did show some of that swing and miss stuff that he's known for. Sometimes. Nash can do the evaluation has started. The draft stock on the board. This ball's hit right to Graham Nash. He's going to just cozy on under. There's his first play of the game. All right. The scouts seem impressed with his ability to walk three feet to the left. So let's see if they're even more impressed when he has to walk seven steps to the left. They are. They like that. That little green bar says that they like it. Graham Nash, his first two. This ball's hit to the right this time. And the oh, the scouts love it. The scouts love his ability to move to the right now also. Even a ball player. Oh, look at Graham Nash in the locker room. He, uh, he's got a little bit of a mullet going. Yeah, it's time for me to carry some of these guys if I need to. Ooh, he's feeling chipper. He's feeling chipper. He's, he, he, he talks the talk. Graham Nash is known for being a little bit maybe overconfident. But uh, here he is hanging out in the locker room with some of his teammates. Graham Nash with that gold 10. He is uh, right now currently looking at a... He's scouted to be elite in speed and almost well above in power. He's looking solid. Graham Nash in his first showcase game here at the Tops Amateur Showcase. This is an opportunity for these young players to display their skills for all, all 30 teams, Major League Scouts. And it, how they perform here. Oh, geez, two announcers. Not going to work. Here you go. Let them talk. Between the prospects from the Central Region and those representing the West. I agree.
as the central gets prepared you see graham nash in the back kind of not really paying attention all these scouts are here ready to see what these players can do that lady's got a thing of nachos it looks good i might grab me some all right dan any thoughts Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, mm. but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches... I think more interesting here, since you're saying nothing important, is the fact that Graham Nash is up to bat here. Two and two to Graham Nash. That ball is right down the middle! Graham Nash is going to get a hold of it, but the center fielder is going to wander on over and make the play. So Graham Nash does put a good swing on the ball. All right, here we go. This time we're joined... 3-2 count, two outs, bottom of the second. We're watching Graham Nash here in center field. This ball is going to be hit to center. Graham Nash running to his left. He's on his horse. He is not going to get there because it's hit to the right fielder, but for some reason, we followed Graham Nash. All righty. We could see Graham Nash here in the next inning. Let's wait and find out. Here we go, Graham Nash in the top of the third. We got two runners on, one out. All right, we got a 1-1 one, one count, two runners on. Oh, Graham Nash breaks his bat. It's a slow roller. Nash on his horse, not going to beat it out, though. He does move the runners up to second and third, but he is 0 for 2 here in the showcase. Let's see, as he is batting second this next inning, let's see what we can get out of Graham Nash. So here we go, runner on first, nobody out. So far, Graham Nash is 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground out. He broke his bat the last AB. Let's see if Graham Nash can get something going here. Oh, he gets a hold of this one. This ball to left center field. Graham Nash, it is caught by the center fielder. What a play. And Graham Nash robbed of a good hit. He just barely misses hitting a home run for the scouts. And instead, we're here in the top of the seventh now with Graham Nash. 0 for 3. You would like to see a little more production out of Graham Nash. He seems to be all or nothing at the moment. Oh, he gets a hold of this one again. Is it going to have enough? The center fielder once again makes a play. And Nash just can't seem to find a way to get the ball to fall. And he is now 0 for 4. Here we go, 0 for 4, Graham Nash. He's going to have an opportunity here. Top of the ninth. Base is loaded. I am a liar. Top of the ninth. Tie ball game. Nash is going to ground ball to second base. Should be a routine play. Unfortunately, Nash with an 0 for day. A tough first showcase for Graham Nash. Oh, here's a replay of that play. Graham Nash is going to just run over and make a nice routine play. Maybe overrun it a little bit. All right, Nash here, top of the 11. Two outs. Leading run on third. He is 0 for 5 today. And he is going to have an opportunity in the lefty-lefty matchup. Our difficulty has been increased, which is maybe not a bad thing. This ball is going to be hit to first. It's going to be a foot race to first. And he's out, and Nash cannot do it. 0 for 6 is Graham Nash in his showcase. So the Central do end up winning. But Graham Nash with a tough day, 0 for 6. And we would like to see more out of him next ball game. All right, day two of the Tops Amateur Showcase. This is your last chance to make an impression on the scouts and the front office personnel for all 30 major league teams before the draft. And Graham Nash right now is 0 for 6. That is something you hate to see, but he is an A potential center fielder. And he's going to be working his tail off today to try and make something happen. The Central matched up against the East today. This ball is smoked. Nash is heading straight backwards. This ball is going to be a little bit more challenging than the last couple. He does camp under it, though, with those good wheels. And now it's time for Graham Nash and the Central to bat. Graham Nash still batting leadoff. Here we go, his first A-B in Game 2 of the Showcase. And Nash. Oh, that's a hanging slider. Is he got enough of it? He kind of watches it a little bit. And once again, the center fielder is going to make the play. Nash just can't get enough on the ball to get it out. Graham Nash 0 for 1 today. He did fly out to center field, which has been his MO so far. As he just can't seem to get enough on the ball 
to put it out. He probably needs to try and pull it just a little bit more and stop hitting the center field if he wants to get this ball out. We will see. And Graham Nash is getting a little frustrated. Nobody out runner on first, bottom of the third. 0 for 1 is Graham Nash so far. That ball is right down the middle. And Graham Nash says, see ya later. And he absolutely murders this ball. 461 feet, 109.7 on the exit velocity. And Graham Nash has his first hit and his first home run of the showcase. Graham Nash showing off his power as he finally pulls the ball instead of hitting it to dead center. And man, is our coach sweating. The two run home run gives the central the lead. And that's the power that Graham Nash is known for. Let's watch this replay as he absolutely murders this ball. And he just watches it go. An absolute moonshot for Graham Nash's first hit of the showcase. All right, here we go. Graham Nash is one for two today. Back in the third inning, he hit an absolute moonshot. And we will see what happens here. That ball is outside. Graham Nash takes ball one. Graham Nash trying to show off for the scouts, and he's going to get on top of this ball. It's going to be a race to first, and he is out. So he is now one for three today. All right, here we go. Graham Nash up to bat here in the bottom of the seventh tie game, three to three. He is one for three today. The big home run is the only thing he's done in this entire showcase, but it was an absolute bomb as he hit it 461 feet. Now Graham Nash is going to have an opportunity here. Oh, a 2-0 count. You got to imagine Graham Nash is looking for some a fastball near the middle of the plate for him to unload on again. Oh, this is a high fastball instead, and he's going to pop it straight up to the catcher. Unfortunately, Nash is now one for four. Graham Nash coming up to bat here in the bottom of the eighth. Bases loaded, two outs, down by one. Graham Nash needs to come through for his team. That was a high fastball for ball one. All right, 1-0 count, two outs, bases loaded, bottom of the eighth. This could be the biggest A-B of the game, and he's going to rope this into right field. It's going to score at least one run. It's going to score two, and Graham Nash has given the Central the lead in the bottom of the eighth inning. You absolutely love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. I really have no interest in running the bases, though. What a better game for Graham Nash here in game two of the showcase. He goes two for four. There he is right there celebrating with some of his teammates as he has the big home run and the two-run single. You got to imagine Graham Nash is the player of the game as he carries the central to a win tonight. And I think that that's going to look good for the scouts here as we move forward into this draft, that's got to look good on his resume. Graham Nash, here we go. As we head to the draft, let's see what happens with Graham Nash. With the first pick, the Detroit Tigers select Marco Velasmil, a catcher from the West region. Graham Nash is sitting at home with his family, waiting to see where he goes. We're in round 16, and Graham Nash gets picked by the Baltimore Orioles in the 16th round. He really thought he was going to go higher than that. He's very upset about that. But he does get drafted, and he has his opportunity with the Orioles, a team that is not very good and has lots of chances for Graham Nash to make it up through the organization quickly. Feels like I should have gone higher, says Graham Nash. He's a little salty. And he does not want to delay any longer as he's ready to join minor league camp. Welcome to the road to the show, Graham Nash.